Alright, so what's going on guys? My name's CG Build, and welcome back to another video. Alright, so as you can kind of tell behind me, we're going to be doing a PC build. Now, this whole PC build is fully white. That's the theme of today's build. Uh, the only thing kind of sad is I couldn't get my hands on a white GPU. I'm not some big YouTuber that get, get, get like stuff sent to me. I'm 21 years old. I do this as like a hobby, and I don't have enough money to really be buying from scalpers. <laughs> So that is kind of sad, but it is what it is. If anything, I feel like it's more realistic because if you're doing a white build and you can't get a white GPU, I mean, maybe, I don't know. I just feel like it's maybe more realistic in the real world, you know? Speaking of subscribers, I just hit 5,000, and that means the world to me. Uh, this whole YouTube thing is becoming more and more a real thing, and I would love to call this one day my job. So uh, I want to say thank you to everybody that watches my videos, and if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And like the video, that would mean the world to me. So the plan of action for this build is me actually going to talk about the parts while I build it. So instead of me doing a build montage, I'm going to be doing that instead. So you will learn all the parts here in a second. Um, the next step is we're going to be doing some benchmarks on Halo Infinite just came out, uh, Valorant, Vanguard, stuff like that. But without further ado, let's get right into this build. All right, so first we're going to be looking at the motherboard. Now this is the Gigabyte Z590 Vision D. Now I always love the look of... Uh, gigabyte motherboards especially the white ones because they just look phenomenal as you can tell by the name the z590 we are using this with an intel so um, this is an intel system and we're going to undo this packaging Whew. god dude it looks pretty decent man there's a lot of protection on it so you got to take all this off because you don't want to build it with it on it you know what i mean good god so much all right, now that we removed all the plastic, the next thing up is the CPU. The CPU we are using is the Intel Core i9-11900K. Now, we are using 11th gen, which I think it's fine. I couldn't really get a 12th gen processor, but this looks really good. The packaging, it looks really nice. I know whenever the 10th gen came out, it was a really big thing with uh, the sphere, and that was a really big thing. Now, if you were to just get it like this, this is really pathetic. <laughs> You <laughs> just to buy it, it came in this thing, like just without that special packaging. All right, so next we have the RAM. This is the T-Force DDR4 Gaming Extreme. Now, this RAM looks really good. I was really surprised. When I saw this in stock, I was like, dude, I have to get it. This is 16 gigabytes, 4,000 megahertz. It is a little bit expensive with $189 after tax, looking around 200 bucks. But for that 400 megahertz, I mean 16 gigabytes normal, 400, 4,000 4, megahertz. Sorry if I said 400. This is, I mean, I mean, what do you expect? I mean, the price is gonna show. As you can see, dude, they look so nice. Okay, so as for the cooler, we are using the Corsair IQ 800i Elite. I'm illiterate, I can't say that last one. Now the only criteria for this was it could fit the socket and for it to be white. And as you can see, it looks really good. So the first step is to install the bracket so that we can put the CPU cooler on it. Okay, so before we do anything else, I want to get the case out and about so we can get everything installed before we do the uh, actual installation of the AIO. The case we're using is the 011 Mini Snow Edition. Now, y'all know how much I love this case. This is the case that pretty much blew up my channel. I'm gonna go ahead and put the extension on it so we can put the ATX motherboard inside. Now we're going to place the motherboard in and then screw it in. So one of the complaints that I that I've been saying about this case, and uh, and a lot of other people, whenever you have an ATX motherboard, you can't put a 360 millimeter at the top because it won't fit. Now you can't put one at the bottom, but it makes things weird, and I don't know. I just don't like the look of that. So the only option is to put a uh, 240 280 on the side now the this one in particular the tubes are very taut they're not too forgiving so uh, this is the only way that I think it looks good and that it can actually reach now 
Uh, just a little tip when you do when you do coolers like this, you don't want to tighten it too hard, but you do want to tighten it to where it kind of just stops. You know what I mean? So you don't over tighten on each side and make it all weird. Okay, so for the fans, we're using the uh, Lean Lee SL120s. So these fans by far look the absolute best for any build, especially for cable management. It makes everything easy. So we're going to install these and make everything look real pretty like. I really do think that this uh, this whole connection thing like this, oh, dude, this is like game changer. Like if I had the normal uh, like Corsair fans, dude, th that would have been, this would be terrible if I had to do all this with that. <laughs> I actually didn't uh, show off the SS or the yeah the M.2. Uh, we're using the <laughs> Samsung 970 Evo one terabyte just because it already has everything that I all the games I want to play on it. So it'll be easy. I don't have to do any extra installing. <laughs> Let's put the other fans on top and the bottom. All right, so here's the build so far. The only thing left is to put the GPU and a little bit of cable management. But yeah, man, so far it looks really good. I'm impressed. I can't wait to see what the light's on. All right, so I got a real uh, bone to pick, right? So every time, and I mean every time, it never seems to fail that I use a power supply, the CPU cable that's at the top left always messes up. It always messes up. I always have to redo it and put in another one. This one is a sleeved cable, and there's a stock one. There is a stock cable that I used with it, and that one didn't work. The cable that it came with did not work. Why? I don't understand. So here it is. Uh, I didn't actually tell you. This is the RTX uh, Zotac Gaming Trinity OC Edition. This is 3080. That's what we're using. So I think it looks really good, man. I think it looks really clean. Once again, I wish I would have had a white GPU, but it is what it is. I think it absolutely looks amazing, and I'm excited to see what these benchmarks are. Dude, look at my cats. Hold on. Let me take this up. Look at my cats over there, man. Dude, look at them. They're just big chilling. Then you have this one over here. All right, so uh, hopefully you did enjoy a little build montage and the B-roll. I think it looks absolutely phenomenal. I'm a very big fan of this. It does suck, like I said, for the GPU to not be white, but it is what it is. I uh, had a lot of fun building this. I think it turned out really, really good. Um, I didn't actually do a lot of the benchmarks because I am time sensitive. I don't have enough time to, so I'm very sorry for that. But we'll give you some numbers. Now for temps, I never got anything over uh, 75. Max load, never got anything over that. So pretty good. I have the airflow set from 
intake coming all the way in and then being dispersed at the bottom. It's a little bit of negative pressure because of the AIO, but is what it is. Now for FPS, uh, for in Vanguard, Valorant, and Halo, uh, Halo, I was getting around 200, pretty, pretty good, about 200, 180, somewhere in there on max settings, so that's really good. It, I mean, it, the game's not fully out yet, so we'll see whenever the game fully comes out, but just for how it is now, it did pretty good. Now in Valorant, same, same case scenario, about 200 to 190. Now, my 3900X with my 3080 does better. I get around 210, 220 on max settings, so I don't know why it was doing that i'm not recording or anything either so i don't know why it was getting lower but i mean maybe it's just i don't know maybe i'm just weird now when it comes to uh, vanguard it was around 190 200 same thing uh pretty consistent i don't know why i mean i mean different graphics different games but uh yeah for the most part it does look really good once again i am on 1440p so Take it, take that how you want it. Uh, that is the end of the video. Hopefully you did enjoy. I had a lot of fun building this thing. Let me know what you want to see next. Uh, I have a lot of other builds planned, but let me know what you want to see, and I will definitely add it to my agenda. Once again, I do want to say thank you to everybody that has subscribed. It means the world to me. Uh, go ahead and leave a like, and yeah, I think that's the end of the video.